Hello, uh, we're, we're doing a, a Facebook uh, pop-up at uh, the Chateau Marmont and I am going to cook uh, my favourite breakfast, which is scrambled eggs. You're lucky because these are the best scrambled eggs in the world and like all good recipes, it's a family one. It comes from my stepmother Gladys. These scrambled eggs can't separate and they can be exactly as you want them to be. They can be as dry as you want them to be or they can be as moist. I like them somewhere in the middle. So here we go. This is um, scrambled eggs for two people and I've got the toast going already. And here's my empty pan. And before putting it on the light, empty the egg straight into the pan. There's no uh, mixing up in advance. Everything's got to be mixed up in the pan. So I think for two people, even three eggs is enough. So there's the eggs. Now this is half and half, uh, what most of us call single cream. Milk will do. But it's just guesswork really. That's probably about enough. And butter, the other essential ingredient, uh, that will do. I don't know how much that would weigh. Let me put that in together. And before we start cooking, I'm going to just put in the seasoning. Just a little bit of ground pepper and salt. About that much, in it goes. A little larger than I would normally use. Onto the heat and keep stirring. Break up the yolks, get it all going. Because once the pan gets hot, uh, everything will start to cook. But we want it all to cook at the same time, which is why I'm stirring away. Once you're doing this, you can listen to the radio, you can talk to your beloved but mainly you can get your juices going because these eggs are going to be really delicious. Keep going around the sides. You could do this with a non-stick pan. And I think the more you stir, the creamier the eggs are going to be. Now, you see, it's all beginning to catch. Can you see? And as it catches, the curds begin to form, which turn them into scrambled eggs. So, good to do it in a pan of this sort rather than a frying pan. In the frying pan, they'd cook too quickly. But they're cooking very well indeed. And the beauty of this is, if it's all going according to plan, you can uh, just uh, stop for a moment, as we will do, to get the toast ready, because it's on the toast that the eggs will go. So, off the light, and um, here's the toast. I like my uh, toast just done like that, nice and crisp. And if you're not going to eat them immediately, it should go in a toast rack, which keeps the toast upright and allows the water vapour to escape and keep the toast crisp. Never wrap up toast, because the water vapour will stay inside and the toast will become limp. Back to the eggs. These are scrambling. Look. Look, they're really catching. The other trick is you want to take it off the heat just before they're ready, because even as you carry the pan over to the toast, the eggs will continue to cook. Now look, they're really beginning to curd. And get together, you can lift it off. It's still cooking, you see, even though it's not on the light. And it's getting close to the way I like my eggs. Out quickly. That's how I like my scrambled eggs. And we'll do them just a little bit more. This way, they can never separate. But there we are, just a little bit longer and they're a little bit drier. That's how some people like them, but not me. Look at that. You see how it's steaming? Lovely. Cheers. Happy breakfast. Best scrambled eggs in the world. Oh. Mmm. Mmm.